Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GAC Group 2015 ITTF World Tour. This is the Polish Open, a major series on the World Tour. I'm Adam Bobro, and you are watching us in Warsaw, Poland, where the home crowd is going to be cheering for the pair on the right. Polish players in black and red. The Swedes on the left. This is the men's doubles finals. Christian Carlson on the left at 24 years old, world ranked number 61 and the 35th seed in the tournament. And Matthias Carlson, no relation, also 24 years old, world ranked number 74, but that's gonna be going up after this tournament. Had an outstanding tournament, 57th seed. Yaku Gies, 21 champion, under 21 men's singles champion here in the home crowd, world ranked number 108. Currently 21 years old, 52nd seed in the tournament. Daniel Gorak, his teammate, the 32-year-old legend of Polish table tennis. Our umpires for the match from Paraguay, Andres La Rosa, and from Netherlands, Jacek Ogierski. So some fun festive music here in the best three out of five doubles match coming up. It'll be interesting to see. A lot of the Polish players have been playing quite well in this tournament. Of course, having the support of your home crowd, knowing that people have come from all over the country to cheer you on gives you a little extra motivation out here. Last week, the Swedes were playing Christian Carlsen, playing for a home crowd at the World Cup. Pulled off a big victory. Gao Ning in front of the home crowd. Matthias Carlson out here, able to take down Jan An, 11-9 in the seventh. Crazy performance. Only stopped by one man, Stefan Fagel, who's moved on to the men's singles finals over Zhang Jike, Marcos Freitas, Marcos Freitas, and Matthias Carlson as well. So on the left there is Daniel Gorak. Might have seen him in many posters, the poster boy for this tournament. Jakub Dias, future poster boy for Poland. Counter looping from off the table, the European game. Quite comfortable for these two. An impressive play. Dias in the 21 finals, the under 21 finals, against his opponent from Hong Kong, showed an impressive backhand attack. Now as far as styles go, Matthias Carlsen has short pits on the forehand side, tends to flat hit. But a very strong touch game over the table as well. You'll have a chance to see how height factors in in doubles. In singles, you still have a bigger stroke, more time to recover, a little bigger middle. In doubles, you have to hit your shot and get out of the way for your opponent. Although the Swedish pair have the lefty-righty combo to make up for that. By world ranking, the favorites would be the Swedes. But this should be quite a close match. Yesterday, the Swedish pair took down the Russian pair, Mikhail Pykov, Alexei Livensov, in a very exciting match. Both of these players training in Holmstad. Christian Carlsen playing overseas with Freitas. Here they are, Diaz and Gorak. Flash photography starting already from the crowd. We've had a few flash photography warnings here in the Zhang Jiko match. There were two. So this could be the second title that the Polish players take at the Polish Open. In which case, both of which would be involving Jakub Diaz. Stadium packed, trying to run out between games. Can hardly find where the aisle is here. Bodies filling every opening. Seats created where you couldn't imagine. Standing room in the back. People asking if they can sit in the commentator's booth with me. Had a few surprise visitors here. Christian Carlson again, the year of 2014, his big breakthrough year. Matthias Carlson, 2015 is his year. 
Christian Carlson's been coming back a little bit lately. Strong tournament last week. And these two players, same generation, coach each other when they can. They're really on each other's team in every sense, so they work quite well together. It'll be a tough team for the Polish pair to beat. Christian Carlson gonna start off with the serve, love all. Ball escapes a little bit long. Opening receive aggressive for the point. Gorak with the loop. Huge backhand from Gorak. Over the table makes it look like a piece of cake, no problem. Short side of the table, but it's the first point for the Swedish pair. A little bit long in the short play. Matthias Carlson has the ability to keep it short with the short pips quite well. Just has to read the serve first, tries to go for the long push instead. Rushed coming into the table, Christian Carlson loops into the net. And this is how soft touch and short play can be effective doubles or singles. Carlson touches it just softly enough. It forces Gorak to hesitate and come in for a late defensive shot. Top of the net and out, and suddenly it's a one-point game. Tied back up at four each. Crowd silenced. Although following the coach's lead, applauding their players. Difficult shot to spin up. We've seen Matthias Carlson do it time and time again, though. Ball comes off the table, takes it low, and loops it up. Quite difficult to read how much spin is on a loop from short pips. More predictably, the flat hit. Whoa! Strong backhand, but even better. Diaz way out wide to the forehand. Probably a good few meters away from Christian Carlson. Look at that, no hesitation, just unloads on the ball. Forehand flip goes long. Tied right back up at six points each. And that's the short game, the control from Carlson. Matthias Carlson with the short pips on the receive. Opening backhand, the rip shot from Carlson. Matthias Carlson, maybe I should be referring to them by their first names here. As powerful as his forehand and as unusual as his forehand is, that backhand very impressive. Oh. 
Served just a little bit too long. A patient Christian Carlson waits for it to come off. It's the opening attack. Excellent shot, reads it off the loop of the short pips down the short side of the table, squatting to the ground, Yakub Diaz. A little bit out of position too, but manages to keep his balance and open it up. Soft shot from Diaz. Right after that, the Swedes kept it in short. Now Christian Carlson has a serve at backhand down the middle of the table from Carlson, Matias that is. Two game points now for the Carlson two. attempt from Christian Carlson on the backhand side, trying to play it soft from outside the table. One game point saved. <laughs> Outstanding point, so much side spin on that last ball and a narrow escape. For Christian and Matthias Carlson, 11-9 after the rally of the match so far. We'll be back for game two just after this short break. Back for game two, Gorok starting off with the serve. A little slippage from Christian Carlson. That seems to be the place the players have been slipping on that side. We saw Shushin slip there last match. Guess it was two matches ago now. Swedes even it up, one point apiece. Backhand again, key ingredient for Christian, for Matthias Carlson, the other Carlson, Carlson of this tournament so far in singles. What? Huge forehand, the flat hit with the short pips off the bounce, that's trouble.
Strong recovery from Yakub Diaz down low. Managed to get the net ball back. Seeing a lot of promise from this 21-year-old player from Poland. Touch shot, scoops it up. A little bit of after motion for some side spin. Crowd cheering, Dale, Dale, come on. Deep on the table and pretty low for such a flat shot. Carlton, <laughs> Matthias Carlson's specialty, obviously the forehand flat hit. But again, the backhand has been earning a lot of points this game. The Polish team's figured something out. Looping it deep on the table, keeping it low into Matthias Carlson's forehand especially while he's coming back into the point. Almost recovers, Gorak from deep in the backcourt. Matias and Christian staying aggressive right at the table. Opening backhand from Christian Carlson over the table finishes the point outright. fight of the Polish players, it's interesting to see how their relationship plays out on court. Difference in generations out here. But a 21-year-old and a 32-year-old playing for Poland. Two 24-year-olds playing for Sweden who train together. Synergy seems to be there for the Polish pair. Slow clap starting at six each. Supporting the home team. Soft touch again that received from the short pips of Matthias Carlson. Quite impressive how much control he has. Oh! Huge opening backhand from Jakub Diaz. Watch one more time as he makes his step in, quickly gets out of the way. That's a ripping backhand. It is again Diaz with that backhand. The two right-handed players, both gonna have to be two-winged loopers out here. Or else they'll run into the same problem that the Singaporean women had. And a run, it's a two-point lead. Two points away from taking the game to tie it up. This time on the forehand side, Diaz playing the short side of the table right down the line. Oh! Soft touch, change of pace, and Gorok takes it for three game points for the Polish pair. Opening backhand from Gorok. Good spin, now the serve. 
Top of the net and out, one game point saved. Tomahawk chop attempted from Christian Carlson, but it's 11-8. The Polish pair get the game tied up at one game each. We'll be back to see who takes the lead in game three in this best three of five. Back for game three, Christian Carlson now starting off with the serve. We're tied at one game each. <laughs> Clever idea, Diaz trying to play the short side of the table, spinning it up from down low. hit from Matthias Carlson, and it's tough to stay in rhythm against that ball. The trajectory completely different than a counter loop. <laughs> Little trouble on the over the table forehand flip. First three points go to the Swedish pair. Edge of the table, quick apology. With the first point for the Polish pair on the board now. <laughs> Diaz going for a big shot coming back in. An outstanding rally from both sides. Carlson with the power. Softer shot, change of pace, smart play from Matthias Carlson, who had hit the, the ball quite hard the shot before. The Swedish pair definitely have their work cut out for them right now. Polish players sharp on both sides. They've got home crowd supporting them. Both players quite versatile in their looping game, short and long. <laughs> Heavy spin deep on the table, and it's trouble for the flat hit forehand of Matthias Carlson. Matthias Carlson still putting some top spin on it with the short pips. <laughs> Heavy spin from the backhand side. A lot less attention on this shot from Matthias Carlson. 
But that's the one that catches you by surprise. Everybody knows about the short pips on the forehand side, the danger of the flat hit, but the backhand topspin. A oh! little bit out of position, Carlson makes a run to the forehand. He'll usually get that ball, he's fast on his feet. Strong loops on both wings. Very unified Chole. Thought it might have been a towel break maybe, Christian Carlson. Either way, a two point lead for the Swedes. Huge backhand from deep in the backhand court. It's a defensive position, but he took an aggressive receive, returned it with power and topspin deep again. Just enough time for him to tuck away. Oh. Opening for Christian Carlson down the middle of the table. Tough shot nonetheless. Polish pair fighting and trailing by two. Oh. Break off the top of the net. Yes, quick to apologize. The follow-up attack, very important here from Gorok. Deep on the table, but he puts some side spin on it. Keeps it deep on the table of his opponent's side there. Christian Carlson, the first one to see the opportunity. The ball comes off the table and he spins it up softly. <laughs> Heavy spin deep on the table again and overpowers Gorok. Four game points for a 2-1 lead for Christian and Matthias Carlson, Team Carlson. Missing just wide. And it's an 11 6 victory. The Swedes pull ahead two games to one. Game four just after this. And as we come back 
for game four. The crowd unites behind the Polish pair. Jakub Dias and Daniel Gorok down one game to two. Gorok with the serve. Strong start, Diaz over the table again. Foot. Heavy spin from the short pips forehand loop of Matthias Carlson. See how low the ball stayed, sneaks under the racket of Gora. Oh! Soft block from Matthias Carlson. The ball comes floating back, and Christian has trouble with the next ball. Trying to play down the middle of the table. Extra strength from Christian Carlson on that to take the point. Block off the top of the net for Matthias Carlson. Gorok with a strong loop from the backcourt. Jakub actually. Jakub Diaz who had the backhand loop from deep. Dead even in points. Crowd still very much in this. Same with the Polish pair. Strong opening, the first several shots of that rally. Put the pressure on. Carlson's backhand attack, Christian Carlson's. Very strong, you could see the positive head nod to Matthias Carlson, no problem. Let's keep fighting. And that is an outstanding block right there. Diaz, close to the table, refuses to back up. Despite how hard Christian Carlson hits this ball, crushes it right at him. <laughs> Touch shot attempt, but the Polish pair pull ahead for a three point lead. Thinking back to that higher ball for Christian Carlson, not an easy ball. It's easy to second guess and say, well, why didn't you put some side spin, hit it where he wasn't, change the placement, but he hit it hard. <laughs> Speaking of hard hits, counter almost falling to the ground for Matthias Carlson, extending out to the forehand and slapping it back. Watch this. Just a step, leans low. Anytime you can get your attacking opponents to attempt chopping tends to be a good thing, at least for the pair that's not chopping. The timeout is called for the Polish pair, still trying to hang on to their lead. Seems like they've been a little bit more effective when they can keep Christian Carlson in the backhand position. 
despite that last forehand attack from Christian. Most of the points he's won, it feels like, have been with the forehand. Also, if he turns for the forehand, he's got more room for Matthias Carlson for the follow-up attack. They can try to keep Christian Carlson on the backhand. They'll create an obstacle and have a little bit less threat coming from Christian Carlson. Looks like there might have been some talk about playing wide angles, inside out forehands. The Polish pair has also won a few points, sending Christian Carlson wide to the forehand. It's when he turns the backhand corner that he seems to be the most threatening in this match. The underspin serve, half long over the table. And right out of the timeout, it seems to be diffused. Swedish players take the point. Time the spin is back again. It's in the backhand corner. Christian Carlson playing a more passive shot here. Sort of a flat block of shot rather than a counter attack from the forehand side. We're going point for point right now. Big point there, Carlson, Christian Carlson moving all the way in on the forehand side. Has to commit to get that ball is out of position. Gets right back in, and Gorok not able to land his backhand loop. Not even to the middle, let alone the line. And fighting still at eight points each. Dias and Gorak have used their timeout. They need to make it count and get to game five. <laughs> Jammed up on the forehand side, Matthias Carlson running through the Christian Carlson zone. This is good placement. Diaz bending it back into the last person to hit the ball. Hitting it right back to Christian Carlson. The Swedish pair edge closer, nine all. This is the fourth game, but it's a best of five. The Swedish win this game. They take the championship. Excellent shot, Carlson comes in and takes all the angle he can on that ball. He's waiting for a surprise receive from Diaz. Turns for the backhand, sets up like forehand, but can't attack, well-placed serve. The Swedes maintain control of the point. That last ball just left a little too high from Gorok. Championship point. <laughs> and they do it! An awesome move from Christian Carlson, almost bending his back, pulling a matrix out there with his non-brother and teammate, Matthias Carlson. Those two worked hard and took the championship over two very strong Polish players, up and coming 21-year-old Jakub Diaz and Daniel Gorak, 32 years old, the poster boy, the poster man for the Polish Open here, 2015.
Congratulations to the Swedish pair. We're seeing more and more of Sweden on the podium. Jun Persson and Jens Lundqvist in doubles earlier this year. That is a satisfying performance, especially with the fight that Christian Carlson and Matthias Carlson had against the Russians yesterday. Stick around, all we've got left is the women's singles finals and the men's singles finals should be an interesting showdown. We've got the rematch of the world championships for women, Lu Xiuwen and Ding Ning coming up next. Oh, okay. yeah, that's all. 